What a beautiful performance. Thank you so much. Let's give it one up one more time for the Chico Association, Maryland chapter. All right, thank you everyone. Hopefully you all got a chance to vote outside. So also, don't forget that you can still vote for your favorite contestant on our Facebook page throughout the night, Pacific Miss Asian American Pageant. That's Pacific Miss Asian American Pageant on Facebook. All right, make sure to tell your grandmother that, right, <laughs> on Facebook. This vote counts as 10 Facebook likes and contributes to the contestants. Oh wait, no, sorry. That's the vote that you voted outside. Yeah, sorry, my bad, I was reading the wrong line. Share your favorite contestants post with all your friends on Facebook and get them to vote as well. Let them know that you're here, supporting your contestants. Yup, yup, yup. So Carlos, what, what portion of the competition is your favorite? You know, I really like the talent portion. They're all just so fantastically talented that I cannot do anything that they just accomplished on stage. Yeah, you really get a sense for their personalities Honestly, and right? how unique all of them are. And you're also going to get a sense for that when they answer their Q&A later tonight one of the most nerve-wracking parts of the competition, indeed, for sure. Indeed, indeed. And those elaborate cultural um, attire that they were wearing was just well represented tonight on stage. Absolutely. And so, Kira, I have to ask you a question, all right? So, Kira, who designed this fantastic gown of yours? Like, give, give it up for her. Trust me. Actually, my mother did. Oh, my mother. Ladies, are we ready back there? Yes, let me go okay. check. Let's get some evening gown music going. I cannot wait for you all to see these beautiful evening gowns. Like we said before, with the talent and with the Q&A, you'll really get a sense of their personalities and how unique all of these beautiful women are and how they represent Asian Americans so beautifully in our society. Thank you. All right, so they're all ready for us tonight. Contestant number one, Joyce Yang. Joyce, Joyce's grand evening fall gown makes her feel like Cinderella. The top embellishments with the halter and open back design signify the royalty. The solid rose gold color under the blue symbolizes love, with the blue on the outside symbolizes strength, but also peace. It stresses the importance to love yourself, and no matter what, to understand that everyone's beautiful. Overall, this evening gown mirrors Joyce's childhood memories. Chinese chi house. 
while the sequins and the shoes are closer to American dresses. The stunning red color is a symbol of good luck in China, while the peacock symbolizes dignity and beauty. Emily loves to take opportunities to display both her American upbringing and Chinese heritage, and she feels that this dress was the perfect fit. Thank you, contestant number five. Contestant number six, Sky Bloomer. The red of this dress represents Sky's strength and determination, as well as her strong sense of self. The sequin embellishments add a more feminine and elegant feel to the strength, to the strength, showing how beauty is in the embodiment of so many traits put together, more than just simply the way a person looks. Beauty shines from the inside out, and it is the character of a person that determines their beauty, which is ever-changing and growing. Red is also Sky's favorite color, and the cut of this dress shows her class. Contestant number seven, Olivia Tway. Olivia chose a golden evening gown. The style is a combination of classical oriental and western romantic art. Usually, Olivia likes to wear some light-colored dresses, such as her talent gown, full of graceful features. This time, she wants to show more of her sexy and elegant side on stage, even a little cute as a golden mermaid. The whole body is covered with gold sequins and a mermaid-style skirt that highlights a noble, elegant, and mysterious temperament. Also wearing an oriental jade pendant, the overall style is close to the classical beauty of the piece, highlighting the charm of an Asian lady. Thank you, contestant number seven. Contestant number eight, Alice Sue. When Alice tried on this dress, she fell in love with how perfectly the dress fits her personality and represents her belief. She adores how this dress reflects her strong and confident personality, while she also makes it feel elegant and beautiful. The color red is also her favorite color because it is eye-catching represents good blood in Chinese culture and represents her passion for self-love and confidence. Alice believes that every person should have a moment to shine and this dress dazzling, dazzlingly jewelry definitely helps her feel like a star. She is contestant number eight, Alice Thank you, contestant number nine, Ray Benna. She chose this dress because it embodies who she is, a positive and strong woman. Ray says her favorite thing about her gown is that it has pockets. As for the color, red symbolizes good fortune in Asian, Asian cultures, but it also symbolizes, symbolizes Ray's passion and courage, which is why it is her favorite color. This simple yet elegant gown truly makes her feel like a princess on the inside and out. Contestant number 10, Cassandra Bailey. Cassandra is wearing an elegant blue and gold evening gown with gold, pearl, and lace embellishments. Her mother helped her find this dress from a Korean-owned fashion outlet. This evening gown means so much to Cassandra because she will always be able to cherish the wonderful mother-daughter memory of finding the perfect dress. The blue and gold layers are reminiscent of the past ocean and it reminds us that beauty of an ocean is not just the water itself, but the way in which the water flows. Contestant number 11, Tiana Tang. Tiana's evening gown represents female empowerment through its design and color. The color rose gold symbolizes femininity and charm. It is also the universal color which represents the love of oneself and of others. Her sparkly sequins represent joy and happiness, all of which are extremely important qualities of a good role model for young girls. The mermaid style gown also adds a touch of femininity by showing off her figure. The moment she tried on her dress, Tiana instantly felt confidently beautiful and knew that she wanted to experience that feeling again tonight on stage. Contestant number 12, Annie On. Blue is one of Annie's favorite.
favorite colors. She was born in a small seaside city. The color of the sea thus becomes a representation of her best childhood memories. Every time she feels unhappy, visiting the sea would always make her feel confident and become happy again. The color of the dress represents her love for the sea. She hopes to be as forgiving and as peaceful as the sea, to be open-minded and a culturally inclusive no matter where she goes. Bring out all of our contestants once again. question that they are going to answer. Take a deep breath. This is one of the most nerve-wracking parts of the competition, so please show your support to all these wonderful ladies. All right, the first contestant. Contestant number seven, Olivia Tway. Your question is, Pacific Miss Asian American values more than just outer beauty. What values do you believe best represents this title, and how do you use those values in your own life? Thanks for your question. Firstly, I want to say, the beauty is not only what you see outside. It's something you must have inside, including uh, morality, characteristic and something you really pursued. It's not always you want to show uh, show everyone what you look like. And I will keep my uh, keep uh, my dream to be a pianist. So firstly, to be a pianist, I have to keep the passionate heart and um, always love always love my music, love my dream. Thanks. Thank you. Up next, contestant number 11. question is, Pacific Miss Asian American represents Asian Americans in the public sphere. How have your experiences prepared you to be a public figure and representative? Thank you for the question, Kira. Judges, I believe that my experiences have really helped me through this pageant. Since this is the Pacific Miss Asian American, I have joined many groups on campus that is involved with many other cultures and not just my own. So I believe that I have a great multicultural understanding of the many other cultures in America. Thank you. Up next, contestant number eight, Alice Zhu.
Civic Culture International is seeking a winner who will take initiative in the community. What initiatives have you been involved in that would help you as this year's title holder? Thank you for the question, Kara. I think this is a really important issue. And for me, growing up, I never saw many role models in the media that I could look up to that were culturally diverse and had different body types. So I wanted to change that. I became a leader in my community by becoming a dance instructor, swim coach, volleyball captain, and also secretary of my Science National Art Society in high school. I believe that these achievements will help me become a better leader and become a worthy title holder of Pacific Muskegon American. Thank you. Up next, contestant number 12, Annie Ahn. The contestants in this pageant represent a variety of ages and experiences. How has your unique education, work, or experiences prepared you to be this year's winner? Thank you, Kara, for the question. I have been born in China. I was brought up in China and being raised up in China. I lived there for 18 years. I grew up and realized that Chinese culture has represents a kind of inclusiveness. After a being a transfer student come to, China, to America, I have been involved in local American communities and I have known the importance of openness. So therefore, I would like to combine both the American and, uh, and Asian culture like to be uh, as well uh, to be open mind as well as kind. So I would hope to be continue to be optimism and also uh, be grateful to our society. Thank you. Thank you. Up next, contestant number six, Sky Bloomer. Pacific Miss Asian American winners exemplify ambition and achievements in their careers. How would winning this title help you with your future goals? Thank you, Kira, for the question. A big goal of mine is to be a speaker and figurehead for many people to achieve and to move forward and really appreciate their own culture and to implement that in their own career and in their life. Who we are and our cultural heritage is a big part of us, and it is really important for us to take that with us through our, our life and what we do. For me, winning this title would be a big step in bringing, bringing me forward to, to, to be strong and to show how Asian American women are really important and are powerful. Thank you. Contestant number 10, Cassandra Bailey. Pacific Culture International supports all Asian American communities. Why is community involvement important to you? And how do you give back to the community? Thank you for your question, Kira. Throughout my life, I have given back to the community by volunteering, being involved in many extracurriculars, and always pushing myself to try to help others and to help others realize their potential and their confidence. So through this pageant and through PCI, I believe that I can help others realize their potential and contribute to the community because I can inspire them as I have contributed to the community. Thank you. Thank 
Contestant number three, Nikki Wynn. The Pacific Miss Asian American pageant provides a platform to raise awareness for important causes. What is your platform in this pageant and why is it important to you? Thank you for your question, Kira. Uh, my platform is beauty is more than just your outer appearance. It's more than just skin deep. It's also about who you are and how confident you are and how you choose to love yourself as well as other. And I want to inspire the younger generation, actually inspire everyone to be just like that. Thank you. Contestant number nine, Ray Benna. Pacific Miss Asian American is a role model for young girls. What unique message do you want to share with young Asian American girls, and why is this message important to you? Thank you for the question, Kira. Judges, I didn't feel like I had as many opportunities growing up as an Asian American. So I decided to start a business built on diversity and inclusion, and by doing so, I was able to create my own opportunities. I hope that my story will inspire other, other Asian American women as well. And I hope that they will learn to create their own opportunities and to work hard to follow their dreams. Thank you. Contestant number two, Liu Zhang. Pacific Culture International is dedicated to promoting heritage and increasing cultural awareness. Why is your culture important to you, and how do you share this with others? And thank you for your question, Kara, judges. First of all, I would like to thank everyone for being here joining us tonight, because tonight is really a showcase of what is Asian cultures, Asian American cultures. That's part of the culture that we do. And for me, what we have been doing, because each of us is a representative of our own culture. I came from China in 2009, and I, we have all those beautiful girls, they all have different backgrounds. We all represent some part of our heritage, culture, that's part of the Asian cultures. What we are doing here tonight is to showcase each of us of the own country's beauty. We have international dances. But what we also want to showcase and interact and communicate with you is we are Asian Americans. And we want to not just stay together, but we want to let American communities know the beauty that Asian American community has to offer. We strive to do that. The beautiful ladies, we are going to carry on this responsibility and we are going to do our best to show the beauty of our culture. Thank you. Contestant number five, Emily Shao. <laughs> Pacific Miss Asian American is seen as a leader and representative for Asian Americans. What leadership experience do you have and why is this important to this pageant? Thank you for your question, Kira. I am a ski instructor at the local resort called Whitetail Mountain Resort. I've been working there for three years as a ski instructor, and I recently got my Professional Ski Instructors of America certification. I've been teaching there for many, many years, and I've taught over 300 students. This is a very, very important leadership role to me, as skiing is something I absolutely love. And I'm so glad to be able to spread it with all the children and all the adults that I interact with. The passion here, too, is an Impressive and amazing opportunity for me to show my leadership, uh, my leadership skills. 
and I'm so happy to be able to share this experience with you. Thank you. Contestant number one, Joyce Yang. All of the contestants in this pageant are accomplished in many areas of their lives. What is your greatest achievement? And how would this help you as Pacific Miss Asian American? Thank you for the question, Sarah. I think my greatest accomplishment is that I've gained so much confidence in myself throughout the years that I feel like I could show the younger generation how to be confident in themselves and just love who they are in the inside because that's really what I've learned throughout the years. Thank you. Let's give it up for all of our contestants. They did